There's so many awesome things we can do with field parameters to make our reports even more actionable and informative to our users. Today, I'll show you three cool ways of how you can use field parameters with Zebra BI. First, we're going to do a more basic overlook on how field parameters actually work by just changing a dimension in a visualization. In the second example, we'll add to that some role level security. And for the third, we're going to look at how we can use a single slicer for more field parameters by making a calculation from month to date to year to date on a single chart. And don't worry, you'll be able to download the PBIX file from the description below, but only, only if you leave a like. Now let's get started. Let's start with the basics. Let's just make a field parameter. First, we're gonna go to modeling, parameters and choose field. It opens a new window and now what we have to do is name our parameter. Now choose the fields that we want to include in our parameter. And these will then be the fields that will be switchable in our visualization by a slicer that we can also add. Now that we're done, click OK, and we get a new table in our data model that represents our field parameter. Now inserting our field parameter into a visualization and using the slicer that came with it, now we can switch between different columns of different tables or if we choose all, have a hierarchical view of our different dimensions even from different tables. All right, now on to our second example with the role level security. I've already pre-prepared my parameter here and I'll just show you. So the premise of this is having two viewers of your report and a single visual that changes its dimension depending on the viewer that is looking at it. So here I've made this exact parameter. Now that we have our parameter, we have to go to roles and make a role for each of our viewers. So first we're gonna make a manager role and here, this is the beautiful part. We can add a simple DAX filter here that will filter our field parameter. And we're going to filter it so we are just going to show groups to our manager. And now we have to do the second row. So we're going to do the salesperson row and here we're going to filter the parameter to only show product. After we're done, this is what it looks like. First, let's view the report as a salesperson. Ah, you can clearly see that now we have products. Now let's turn into a manager. All right, and now we get groups. It's that easy. But imagine this now. This opens up a whole sea of possibilities. So imagine having a single report and then many different departments, each seeing their own version of a single report. It doesn't get easier to upkeep than just having one report for everybody. The second thing is this makes role level security really easy. Remember how we had to filter only the measures in our field parameter? What we could also do is make a field parameter with many different fields from many different tables. And in role level security, we wouldn't have to go and filter each table to that column. We would only have to filter it in our parameter. Now like and subscribe to stay up to date with us because this is exactly what we're planning to do in the future. Making a template that will change depending on what your role is. So know your role and hit that subscribe button. So for our last example, I made four measures. Actual month to date, actual year to date, plan month to date and plan year to date. And for each of those pairs, I've created a field parameter. I've then added a new column to both of these field parameter tables called calculation type and inputted month to date or year to date to their respective measures. This now allowed me to connect the two field parameter tables. And this means that now I can use a single slicer with our new added column to filter both of the field parameters. In practice, this means that on Zebra BI visualization, you can have both of these parameters in a single visualization and using one slicer, change both of the measures simultaneously. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Tell me if you use any of these tricks in your reports already, or if you finally found one that you're actually going to use from now on. 
Be sure to like, subscribe, download the PBIX file from the description and uh, be sure to check out some more videos from us. We have a lot of cool stuff.